guys, this is Galactic Marines here, and it's kind of hard to set up a camera whenever you don't have a cameraman. So that's why I had to put my phone on a, a microphone, a microphone stand, what, what you normally put on a microphone stand, a microphone, but you know. That's how things work whenever you don't have a tripod for a phone. Well, I do have a tripod, but I don't have, I don't have one. I don't have like an adapter of some sort to put on the tripod so it will fit on the phone. So that's why I'm using a microphone stand for now. But anyway, I am doing an unboxing video of this mouse that I just got today. And it's the Razer Death Adder Chroma. And I got it for a good deal, $35. And originally it goes for 60 but I, I thought I had a, I thought I got a good deal, so that's why I bought it. So So, anyway, I'm going to unbox it. We're going to unbox it right now with a razor. So, let's see if I can cut it. I don't think I can cut it like this, but I know I'm trying. So, this might take some attempts. I have to go in there and do it, but I that's wow, and it was as easy as flip flipping up this piece, this side right here. That's how easy it was. Just flip up the side right here. I'm sorry for the bad quality, guys. I'm so sorry for the bad quality that this is shooting in. But you know, when you're on a budget, you can't afford all the fancy stuff. You know, it's just gonna take a while. Can't really pause because I don't have a cameraman behind there to pause it. But you know, I'm taking my time. Okay. I got it. You know, I don't want to break the box because, you know, I like I like keeping them as a collection. So I'm not I'm trying not I'm trying not to make any rips or tears of some sort at all. You know, because I want to keep it as a collection. Cause I also have another box of the Razor Naga Epic. It's in my room right now. It's the Razor Naga Epic mouse, an MMO mouse for MMO players. And I really did like that mouse. I used that mouse before I used this. And that mouse was made in 2011. And this year, the year that this mouse was made in is, I'm assuming it's 2014 because down here it says 20, 2006 to 2014 Razor Incorporated. So I'm guessing this was 2014 was when they made it. So, I am I am very excited for this. It I I heard very good reviews about this and being an ergonomic and also I I love colors. I like LEDs on things. So that's why I, I like Chroma because there's lots of customization in it when you have the Chroma version of it. So it's also is laser snaps enabled with uh, USB 2.0 connect. I'm so sorry if you guys can't barely hear me, but this also has a 4G optical sensor with an ergonomic design and a 1 gigahertz. It says 1,000 hertz, but I'm just gonna say it as a gigahertz uh, of ultra polling. Of ultra, I'm not sure what that is, but and then you also have, of course, some. Um, gamers right here that I don't even know but right here has some cool pictures 
um, and of the colors, all the colors that it has. So let's open it. You know, it's gonna be sweet. Oh, it already it has like a nice unboxing to it. The Razer Naga Epic has a nice unboxing to it too. I wonder if this has wireless capabilities because the Naga Epic had wireless capabilities, but I don't think so because it had nothing about wireless ca capabilities on the box anywhere. So I'm going to I'm going to assume there is no wireless capabilities. But oh, this nice, this is nice. Like us on Facebook, follow on Twitter. Oh, and come with nice razor stickers. My razor Nog epic came with razor stickers too. They look nice though. They really do. You know, you can stick it on your computer case or really anywhere, really. Oh, this also has a gold-plated USB. Oh my gosh. This braid is feels amazing. The braid doesn't feel that good on the Naga Epic Plus, the Naga Epic. I've used it quite a bit, and it's kind of like, I don't know what they made this out of, but like the material of it is kind of dust attractive. It, uh, it attracts dust kind of, and a lot of dust gets on the mouse, and I, I, don't, I really don't like it, especially how it feels. But I think I have to take this off, yep. We'll set that aside and set this aside too. We really don't need this. And here's the glory of this mouse. Oh gosh, it's huge. And then <clears throat> also the braided USB cable. Oh, this feels amazing. Set this aside. Oh my gosh. This is my first new bought new gaming mouse to be honest like I never bought a gaming mouse that was brand new my Naga Epic was used and I got a very good deal on it too and but I got if you guys didn't hear in the beginning because I was kind of kind of talking too low but originally this mouse goes for $60 but I got I got it great on a deal of a clearance. There was a whole literally a whole aisle of clearance idols I clearance I clearance items at Walmart. I I mixed idols I aisles and items together so it'd be idols. But anyway, the whole aisle it was just one whole aisle on those. Uh, aisle right here and then there was also <coughs> then there'll be shelf right here and shelf, shelves right here Th those these whole two shelves was just filled with clearance items there was also a G G710 plus and regular G710 <laughs> mechanical keyboard on clearance for 50 bucks I was just so amazed at the deals you know, you could probably get a better deal on Amazon, maybe, but, you know, I don't really look on Amazon. Well, I do, but, you know, I just, I had my money with me at the time, so I just saw it, and I was like, oh, my gosh, I have to pick this deal up. I can't, I can't let it go. Also, the Razer Naga Epic that I have doesn't have the logo to light up. The logo doesn't light up, but I'll bring in the Naga Epic right here. I'll show you guys the comparison. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I'm back. You know, I had to come up behind the camera. Because no cameraman remember that. So here's the comparison between the Death Adder and the Naga Epic that I had. Dang. This is huge compared to the not, okay, it's not that huge, but still, it looks pretty, looks pretty big where it'd be for a person with big hands would use this. But I really like this, but I, I was disappointed that, that they don't have these two buttons right here. That, like this one. I know the, 
the elite I think I think elite version of the not 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 a death adder the elite death adder has the two buttons right here that the Naga Epic has but you know they only had the chroma on clearance because I don't know why but they only have the chroma on clearance but that's okay at least it's chroma and that's still nice but you know it would be it would be even nicer if they had these two buttons right there but that's fine and also you know there's only two buttons right here Oh, also, just to tell you guys, these two buttons that I use on this mouse, I set these to volume up and volume down. You know, just use this so it'll be easy volume up and down controls. But, you know, if I'm going to use volume up and down a lot, you know, I might set these to up and down. Maybe. But, this is a very nice mouse. I'm already liking it. And I can definitely feel the material difference used here. Like this, you can t definitely tell this is plastic. You can tell this is plastic. And then this is kind of like a, I don't know what to, how to explain it, but it's kind of like a, a material that like it's kind of soft to the touch. Kind of feels like, a, I don't know how, I really don't know how to explain it, but, you know, they all, both have gold-plated USBs, but of course this looks newer, the Death Adder looks newer, and also, the Naga Epics rated cable is definitely beat down and wore down, definitely worn out, you can definitely tell that, and here, of course, because it's brand new looks nice but here you can see that the logo does not light up the logo does not light up because you can definitely tell that that logo is tiny and it's just you know just printed on there no LEDs but I like this because the logo also lights up so I thought that was pretty cool but the scroll wheel on here still lights up and also on the Naga Epic this the numpad on here also lighted up so that was that was cool also that, that I think that'd be pretty cool if we could see LEDs on here too but you know no complaining there we still you know they still got to light up the logo and the scroll wheel oh this feels nice I would definitely be using this a lot oh I can also tell you guys one more difference you can't pull this out it's not it's not like um, detachable. That's the word. Detachable. It's not detachable like this, like on the Naga Epic where you can just slide it out. And it's like a micro USB cable. Say you want to go wireless, you can just plug it out. You have um, a base where you charge it and you also connect it to your printer, computer so it'll be wireless. But you know, I do have the base, but I don't know where it's at. Because, you know, I don't use wireless capabilities. Also because I don't have the battery. No battery. So that's also why I didn't use wireless capabilities. But, you know, I do prefer cable over wireless. Because, you know, also, always cable. Also, always will beat out wireless. But, you know, if you want to go back. It's like, say, your your battery goes down on your Naga Epic. And you want to charge it some more. You can literally just plug it back in and it will charge while it's plugged in while you can also use it. So that's pretty cool there. It would be neat if they put down the, the death adder, but you know. It's still a nice mouse. You can definitely tell this was probably a little more cheaply made maybe. I think because I thought the, the materials on the Naga Epic was probably a little better. Oh, also, I'm going to show you something. I want to take out the cable so I don't have to worry about cables. But also on the back, it's different. The backs, they are dif definitely different. Also, one thing I definitely noticed on the Naga Epic, 
I know this this won't be a problem when you get it brand new, but the scroll wheel on here was like kind of tilted, where it just kind of tilted weirdly. Like it stayed in it stayed in the left tilt, like it's just stayed there. Like you can I don't know if you can see on camera, but it's like it's like crooked. If that's the word, but that's also the complaint that I had on this mouse the naga epic and what, what was also cool about the naga epic was the detachable and um detachable and attachable um pinky and ring the finger rests where the where those two fingers rest at it was cool that the naga epic had that um this was the palm grip, and then there was also a claw grip for claw gripping, and then there was also, I forgot what the other grip was called, but I, I, I did use that one a lot, the other grip, and then I started using the palm grip, because I thought that was most comfortable, so that it all, every finger lies somewhere, so that it just feels nice and comfortable. But also, the Death Adder, even though, the Naga Epic had those capabilities. This, the Death Adder, especially for its ergonomics, still is a very comfortable, very comfortable mouse to hold and use on a daily basis. Also, to one to as a note, that I'm saying, I was also I was debating between this mouse and the Logitech G5502. Yeah, uh, it was the G502. The Proteus Spectrum, I think is what it was called. The Proteus Spectrum. That also had RGB, RGB lighting, just like this mouse has. But, you know, the, the Logitech G502 wasn't on clearance. But if it was, I would definitely opt for that mouse. Just my personal opinion. But, you know, you guys don't have to opt for that mouse. But I decided to opt for that mouse. Oh, also, I just tried something. There's no tilting in the scroll wheel. At least from... Oh, man. My, my, my mouse might be a defect, maybe. Because I can definitely tell this, when I go right, it does go. But then when I go left, it like, it stops. I might have to return it. <laughs> Maybe. That's bad. I don't know, if it, I don't know if that's normal. If you guys say that's normal, if you guys think that's normal, not think. If you guys know that's normal, please comment in the description. You can't comment in the description. Please comment in the comments below and tell me if that is normal. Where you go left and it does click when you when that, no not left when you push it when you push the scroll wheel right it like it clicks and it goes. But then when you push it left, it clicks and it's like it's like it locks in place and you can't move it. Anymore. It just like locks in place. That's weird. Oh, tell me guys if you, if that's normal. <laughs> I don't think that's normal. Might have to return it. Of course I choose the bad one. I always, usually when I get something at store, I literally always have to, like I got a fidget spinner, a fidget spinner at Walmart. It was also a defect. The, the, my first pick. So I had to, I had to go back there and get another one. But I might, I might have to do the same with this. I might have to go back and get another one. But, you know. Still a very nice mouse. I would rate this probably 8 out of 10. Just because of the material used, probably. And also, that left scroll wheel. Right. No, left. Left scroll wheel. It doesn't work. So if I return it and get a new, a, a, another one that does work, 
I will update you guys in the comment and say I'll update it to 9 out of 10 probably because this is a great mouse I really like this mouse so I really hope you guys really took this review if you guys are thinking about going to buy this mouse so this was also an unboxing slash review so I'm going to end the video here so thank you guys for watching remember the fidget spinner giveaway that is still going on for six six more days yes yeah, six more days I don't know if Ethan has his vlog out right now but he probably does but while I upload this video he's probably making it right now but remember to subscribe and like this video subscribe also because that gives you a chance to win fidget spinner also like this video and like the previous video which was a fidget spinner giveaway video telling all the rules and everything about it and how to win so you guys have to like that video too and also if you guys want a better chance to win you have to like not like follow our twitter page and we will announce the winners there so thank you guys for watching and remember to fight for the republic and be soldiers it's kind of weird when i say that but thank you guys for watching nevertheless and peace mm -hmm.